Telling you to prepare now though because forecasters including us are warning it's likely to be a busy season. Just how busy? Well for that answer let me bring in my colleague meteorologist Tim Pandagis. With tropical storm Arthur forming before the actual season begins in June, it makes us look towards the actual hurricane season and what it may bring. Several institutions have released early outlooks or forecasts for the season, and almost all of them are pointing to a very active season as we head into June, July, August, September, October, and November, that six month season. So let's look at a few of them. Average, on average, with climatology, we see about 12 named systems a year. Six of them become hurricanes, and half of those become Category 3 or greater, classified as a major hurricane. Looking back at last year, pretty active season. We had 18 named storms, six of those hurricanes, half of those Category 3 major hurricanes or higher than that. So Colorado State University puts out the earliest outlook, and they revise it as we get a little bit closer. They're calling for around 16 named storms, so that's still above average and highly active with eight of them becoming hurricanes four major hurricanes. Now North Carolina State says, hey, we think it's going to be a little bit more active than that. 18 to 22 named systems, eight to 11 of those becoming hurricanes, three to five becoming major hurricanes. It's also worth noting Penn State University said, I quote, one of the most active seasons on record will be likely coming our way this season. So we have to watch that very, very closely. Why are all of these forecasts pointing towards an active season? Well, there are several indicators that show us that the possibility is there, that there could be conditions very favorable for storms to develop in the Atlantic Basin. First, we turn to the Pacific and what's going on in an area called an ENSO region or La Nina El Nino. That sort of thing. El Nino Southern Oscillation is what ENSO stands for. So we're seeing a lot of cold anomalies or colder than normal waters here that last year was favoring an El Nino, which is warmer. So this is indicating to us that a La Nina could be setting on up and that favors a more active Atlantic Basin. On top of that, we have warm anomalies. So sea surface temperatures that are warmer than normal in the Atlantic Basin, which helps for storms to gain strength. It's more fuel available for them. So those two things do indicate the possibility that we could have a very active season on our hands as we head into the peak of the season, which is right around September 10th. The season gets underway June 1st, lasts all the way until November 30th.